Hello there. Welcome to Config Tuition. Today we are going to learn how to configure FortiGate firewall, uh, specifically its syslog configuration. You know. So here today um, I've I've used FortiGate 81E a physical box and 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 uh, it's running actually 40 OS 6.0.10 uh, right and uh, these all are the uh, basically are uh, commands which we will be configuring and at the end we will be doing the debugging all right so here is a quick note i would like to inform you that uh, actually here we are configuring um fatigate box fatigate box um, which is not uh, running the vrom okay not running something vrom okay so uh, it's pretty simple actually uh, we'll be only configuring this as log setting and in this logging setting will be al will be specifically allowing local in allow traffic local in deny unicast traffic local in deny broadcast traffic and then local out traffic simple okay so i'll not uh, waste your time I will straight away go ahead to configure these configuration which is already available in my notepad actually uh, I have prepared it you can say because I just don't want to you know type it basically so it's it's pretty simple uh, since it's not a video so uh, we can directly configure these configuration okay so like this it will be done what I'll do is uh, I'll Take a new session just to show you uh, our testing because at the end we basically do a testing you know the debugging so okay so I'm ready actually I can see the traffic are already being forwarded to 10.10.1 over 5 and 4 which is the basic uh, port of syslog you know so uh, like this you'll be getting the traffic if you are not able to see the traffic, in short, uh, let's say if you are if you are configuring it first time and there is no user traffic, so what you can do, simply you can run one command which is nothing but the diagnose log test, which will generate you know some kind of uh, uh, log messages, which will be forwarded to your um, syslog server. Simple, and then of course you can ask your um, syslog admin to just check whether they are getting the logs or not if they are not getting then obviously you can show them this logs like you are already uh, passing it from the firewall you know and then if it's still they are not getting it then obviously you have to check the path if there is another firewall in between or maybe any device which is just blocking the um, uh, 5 and 4 packet maybe you know so uh, that you need to verify but from firewall front if you want to uh, you know just show them then this is the best uh, command uh, if if there is no traffic at all you know for for my case uh, traffic is already being generated here you know uh, it's a continuous traffic being forwarded to the uh, ip so um, here i can show them or or if it is not there you know then in that case you can simply uh, run this command i'll repeat it again it's very simple diagnose log test Okay, it will just generate some random traffic uh, for this syslog uh, server, and then obviously uh, through through capture of your uh, you know uh, firewall logs, you can just simply see it. It's nothing much, you know. You might be already aware of, about uh, this this command, which is doing a snipping of the packet, you know, simple, uh, and then of course. Your life will be easy i believe we are okay with the configuration you know and uh, of course for explanation i would really recommend you to just go back and then check my other videos wherein i am just explaining each and everything of this syslog you know the vendor is specific this video is specific for the devices which are not enabled for the video you know so 
don't get confused because when you enable the VDOM, there's a different configuration for which you can refer my another video. This is only the CLA configuration. Okay. I love the CLA. That's why I create the CLA uh, uh, videos first and then I would maybe uh, go for GUI as well, you know. So just just follow my other videos which are specifically created on uh, of course GUI based but CLI is love you can say thank you very much you might have enjoyed my videos and then of course all these configuration I'll put it there in the uh, description so you can directly copy and then paste simple there is nothing much for 40 gate syslog it's pretty simple it's pretty simple